Now question 4c, okay, we've got to solve this equation. It has a bunch of fractions in it, or rational expressions. So um, what we've got to do is get rid of all the fractions and then solve it. Now, to do that, we need to multiply across by the lowest common denominator. So to find the lowest common denominator, the first thing is we need to factorize across, factorize everything on the bottom, right? So now x plus 7 can't be factorized. By the way, I'm going to leave space here because I want to be able to uh, multiply by the lowest common denominator. So I'm going to leave space there, right? And then we got 2 over x minus 7. x minus 7 cannot be factorized. I'm going to leave space again, right? And then we have um, 5 over, and now x squared minus 49 is in fact a difference of squares, right? Okay, it's, it is in fact x squared minus 7 squared. And to factorize a difference of squares, you write down what? x plus 7 times x minus 7, right? Now we go ahead and multiply across by the lowest common denominator, right? Now before we do that, we've got to specify what x cannot be in our answer, because we're not, we can't divide by 0 because that's, that's just an impossible operation, right? So what we do is we say, well, x plus 7, x plus 7 cannot be equal to 0, right? So therefore, x cannot be equal to negative 7, right? Also here, x minus 7 can't be equal to 0, so add 7 to both sides, and we get that x can't be positive 7 either. And the same holds true for this. This, this gives the same thing. x can't be negative 7, because if I plug negative 7 in here, that would be 0, and the whole bottom would be 0. If I plug positive 7 in here, all of this would be, we'd have 0 on the bottom here as well, right? So x can't be negative 7 or positive 7, right? Now, we go ahead and solve this. First of all, what is the lowest common denominator between these three, th these, uh, three denominators? The thing that the three denominators all go into is in fact x plus 7 times x minus 7. That is the lowest common denominator. That can be found in there, this can be found in there, and this also can be found in here, in here right? So it's kind of like asking if you had numbers, if you had, you know, 1 over um, 5 plus uh, 2 over 3 equals um, you know, whatever, 1 over uh, 5 times 3, okay? The lowest common denominator would simply be 5 times 3, which is 15, right? Because 5 goes into this, 3 goes into this, and 5 times 3 also go in th goes into this, right? Anyway, so that's lowest common denominator, it's just x plus 7 times x minus 7. We multiply everything by that. Right? And when we do that, then we get lots of things cross-canceling, and then we get rid of all the fractions in the equation, and which is nice because then, then it's, it's easier to solve. So x plus 7 cross-cancels, x minus 7 cross-cancels with this, sorry, and then your x plus 7 cross-cancels here, and x minus 7 cross-cancels here. Okay. So what we get is 1 times 1 times x minus 7, or basically 1 times x minus 7, if you like, over 1, plus 2, the 2 stays there, the x plus 7 stays there, 2 times x plus 7 equals 5 times 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, which is just 5, right? Okay, so we multiply the 1 in, and that gives us x minus 7, and then multiply the 2 in, we get 2x plus 14 equals 5, and then just solve that, right? So what does that become? 1x plus 2x is 3x, negative 7 and 14 is positive 7, right? Subtract 7 from both sides, we get 3x equals negative 2, divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals negative 2 over 3, or negative 2 thirds, right? And that is not the same thing as positive 7 or negative 7, so 
Um, that is correct. We have this one solution for sure, right? 